635 now in other headlines. Yellowstone National Park's huge steamboat geyser erupting less often than at any time since it came back to life more than three years ago. MTN's John Shearer talked to scientists about why this might be happening. <laughs> Well, you know, Steamboat may be slowing down. Steamboat, the world's tallest active geyser, spoiled geyser fans, erupting on average every five to ten days until May of this year. This is sort of something that we expected would eventually happen because Steamboat does go through cycles. Here at the Norris Geyser Basin, most people visiting probably aren't even aware that the Steamboat Geyser has not been going off as often lately. While the geyser roared back to life in 2018, averaging about 40 eruptions a year in the last two months, it has only gone off twice. Now that's one of the interesting things about Steamboat. It doesn't appear to give any really obvious signs of whether or not it's, it's going to be in one of these eruptive phases or, or not. But that doesn't mean scientists are completely in the dark. They've long known the general map of how Yellowstone is affected by the hot, deep, inner mantle of the earth and have recently used sound waves to map steamboat closer to the surface. The, the geysers don't really reflect what's happening at depth. So they're related, right? The, the, the deep magmatic system provides the heat that heats up the water that gives you the geysers, but then that hydrothermal system which sits on top of it is somewhat independent. We're in a drought and it would seem to make sense that could be affecting the geyser. So it's always sort of at the back of my mind that water, we know it plays a role. How much of a role it plays at Steamboat specifically is still unknown. While scientists have no definitive answers for what's happening to Steamboat right now, they're still excited because the very fact that changes are taking place means they have an opportunity to learn more. And even though it may not be you know, as exciting because we don't have eruptions every five days like we have the last you know, three summers. Scientifically, it's a pretty exciting time because this is the, the, the time that we learn the most about how these geysers work. At the Norris Geyser Basin, John Shearer, MTN News. Now, while Steamboat is the tallest geyser in the world right now, it hasn't always been. There was a geyser in New Zealand used to shoot up about 1,600 feet into the air. It hasn't gone off in 117 years. Even in Yellowstone, Excelsior Geyser in the Midway Geyser Basin, not far from Old Faithful, used to be just as tall, but it hasn't gone off since 1985. And Semi-Centennial Geyser near Roaring Mountain, that's north of Steamboat, was just as tall, but that one's been dormant for 99 years.